Welcome back. In this lesson, we will learn how to bind an event of any control to a command in the view models. So first, I will start by creating a very basic view model for our demo. I will call it command bind the view model public it's from the active object. And here I will create a comment. Let's call it test comment. Just get now in the constructor I will initialize this comment equals reactive comment dot create. Okay, here is the action. For now, the action is just try it in the output window. The try it line command executed. Okay. Now let's create the page associated with this view model. New item content page. Call it command bind page. Okay, cool. First thing, I'm going to create the slider. Minimum value to zero. Maximum to 100. Value current to 50. And I will give it a name. Slider. Reactive UI dot Xamarin forms has a, has a class that's derived from content page called reactive content page and it's a generic class that takes in as an argument the type of the view model associated with this page. This type is very helpful for us in navigation and provides us with a lot of flexibility in binding objects and properties from UI to view model and vice versa. So first thing I'm going to do is to change content page with a reactive content page. I will start by going to the code behind file. I will replace this one with reactive content page. And it's a generic class. I have to pass the type of the view model called command bind view model. Okay, I will save. Now I will convert it this as well I have to do two things before that first import the namespace of view models the view models and import the namespace I'll call it reactive UI reactive UI dot Xamarin forms here it is okay now the reactive content page is within the reactive UI namespace. I would say reactive UI, reactive content page. Okay. Now I have to specify the type of this generic class. We can use the X type arguments property, X type arguments property in XAML. It is view model command bind view model okay in this way we are ready to bind an event to a command I will hit save to refresh this page okay we have no errors now this approach is very useful so I recommend you every time you create any page and you are following or using reactive UI framework as an MVVM framework in your project always for any page you have to do this inherits from reactive content page and in XAML because we will use this in navigation and validation and binding events of controls to a command in the view models now I want to execute the command I have 
created a command binding view model called test command whenever I change the value of the slider. So as you can see here, I don't have a command property. In such a situation, we use something called behaviors. But Reactive UI provides us with a more flexible way. Here, there is a function called bind command. Okay. Here, I pass the view model. Inside Reactive Content page, there is a property called view model, which is of type command bind view model. And here I have an expression that receives a view model object to define what is a command I want to bind to. Another parameter, and it receives an instance of the current page to define the control. And the last parameter I have is the name of the event if I want to bind to a specific event. So I will use the name of syntax slider dot value changed. Or you can define it like this, but of course using name of. Now, the last thing we have to do is to assign a new instance for a view model and the binding context of this page. So I would say binding context equals view model equals new instance of command bind view model. I will go to the app.xaml and specify the command page at the startup page of our project. Then I will start the project. Okay, here we go. This is our slider. Now, let me change the value. As you can see, whenever I change the value, the command executed and it prints in the output window, command executed. Okay, that was pretty easy. And this principle is very important in many scenarios. One of the most common examples is when you are fetching data from an API and you are putting this data in a list view. For example, you are building a news application and you have thousands of news topics. In your list view, the best practice is to bring the news, for example, 10 by 10 or let's say 20 by 20. You need every time the user scrolls to the bottom of the page to fetch another 10. You can see this approach in Facebook, Twitter or any application like this, even Instagram. So in this situation, you bind the fetch data command to the page, uh, to the list view in your page, and to the scrolled event. Here we have another overload for this function. You can send parameter. If you need, for example, you are sending filter from a text box or whatever, but there is a parameter that you can use to perform your tasks. Hope you found that useful. Thank you so much for watching. You can find the code as usual on the GitHub repository, the code in the description box below. And if you have any questions, just put them in the comment section. Thank you again and see you in the next video.